and welcome to my channel. So my name is Nienke de Glas and in this short video I will teach you the concept of external validity of your study. So let's get started. So let's just dive in with an example. So here you can see that as patients age they are less likely to enter clinical trials. And this is due to many reasons. So patients may be more reluctant to enter a clinical trial because they're afraid of side effects. And physicians may not offer treatments in clinical trials to their older patients, as they might also fear that they may not have a good outcome. And this makes that populations in clinical trial often are much younger than the actual population that the treatments are aimed for. And this problem that we see with age we do actually see in many other cases as well. So patients with gender, females, are less likely to be included in clinical trials. Patients of certain races, patients of certain socioeconomic status, uh, comorbidities, well, just name it, and there is an underrepresentation of many groups in the, in the population, unfortunately. And the problem is that this can influence outcomes of patients in real life. So this is a very nice study that showed that patients in the Cairo study, which was a randomized clinical trial in patients with colorectal cancer, the outcome of patients in the trial was actually better than patients who were not allowed to enter the trial. So this makes it that the results of the clinical trial cannot necessarily be translated to the general population. And it even goes further than that, because this study showed that even if inclusion criteria of clinical trials are applicated to a general population, still a trial population is much fitter and fitter and healthier than a general population. And in this study, this was the case for patients with comorbidity, but also with a socioeconomic status, which was more unfavorable, but even for tumor characteristics. So patients with a high risk of a worse outcome are less likely to be included in clinical studies. And this limits the general applicability of clinical trial results. So this is what we call external validity. The validity of the outcome of a study that you can apply to a general population. And it's a topic that should deserve much more attention because in many settings, trial populations are not similar to the general population of patients that we want to treat as physicians. So I hope this was helpful and I look forward to see you next time.